previously on Greek. We're leaving now anyway, but it's 10.30. We said we'd come, not that we'd stay, but thanks for paying our electric bill. Oops, that was loud. <laughs> I offered to pay the gamma size electric bill. Ashley didn't even know about it. That's not true. Dr. Larson, I was hoping that you might be interested in sponsoring a project of mine. But I've already committed myself to sponsoring Dale Kettlewell. I understand you turned down an opportunity to work with Dr. Larson. I'd rather take a chance working on my own project, even if they call me anchor until I graduate. They'll sponsor you. Is this being worthy? Is this about Cappy? Because it's pretty clear there are still feelings there. How I feel about Cappy is kind of irrelevant since he's off with that bike club girl. I guess I should explain why I've been blowing you off. Are we still or not? Not someone different. Rebecca, it's a four-day weekend. I'm not moving home. Unless, are you? Sorry to disappoint, Case, but I'll be back on Sunday. You could pay me to stay longer, but I don't have an electric bill. <laughs> are you going home or back in time to return that suitcase to its rightful owner? I actually prefer the vintage look to the whole walking advertisement label whore, whore thing. But that's just me, obviously. And yeah, I'm going home. He's giving it the cart rides. I'll bet it looks just like a Norman Rockwell painting. Hardly. I'll probably end up spending most of the weekend with my old boyfriend, Derek. Old boyfriend? Sounds like a home for the holidays. Hook up to me. It's not like that. I just want to see how he's doing and catch up. Please. The only reason to catch up with an old flame when there is no flame is for sex. Just because you would doesn't mean I will. Oh, right. Because you're the good one and I'm the bad one. Right. Ah, uh, well, at least we agree on one thing. Happy Thanksgiving. You too. All right, I typed up the cookie schedule for tomorrow, breaking it into two shifts, which should give us equal time to hit the lab and work on our projects. I'm not going to the lab. Well, what about your special project and the grant? I mean, the proposal to do on Monday, every minute counts. I hit a wall, and Hastings is not the best person to show me how to get over. That's true, he's no Larson. Hey, Case, what's up? I'm double parked. You ready to go? Go where? Our flight home. It leaves in two hours. Please tell me you packed. We're not going anymore. Mom and Dad canceled our tickets. They're off to Maui for the weekend. How do I not know this? She left you like five messages. She didn't leave me any messages. Are we? Did she? Hey, Dale. Hey, Casey. I started skipping over Mom's long voicemails after she left me when reenacting an entire healthcare debate on C-SPAN. So now when I hear, hey, Case, it's Mom, I skip it. What a fun story. Well, what about my message? I left you one, too. Uh-huh. You know, just my luck. I can't believe this. I was really looking forward to seeing Barrick and, and Mom and Dad. So does that mean you'll be spending Thanksgiving dinner with us tomorrow? First one on our own, another big milestone. <laughs> Might as well. You know, I'm, I'm not going home now. So what else have I got to do? OK, OK, not the most enthusiastic response, but I'll take it. And I promise, anything you could have got at home, you'll get right here. I doubt that. Hey, so you're going on this weekend? No, my parents don't believe in celebrating Thanksgiving. They side with the Native Americans. And the turkey as vegetarians. How about you? You going to the Chambers of State to discuss extramarital affairs, feuding families, oil, and murder? You've been watching Dynasty on DVD? Dynasty? Never heard of it. Never mind. Uh, no, actually. I will not be going to the annual Chambers turkey extravaganza. I politely declined the email invite from my dad's secretary. Well, if we're both here, we should do something. Maybe a road trip to play some golf? Yeah, man, sounds good to me. Oh, you know what? We should go tomorrow. It's Thanksgiving, so the course will be pretty open. Or closed, which means we play for free. Free. I can afford that. Oh, wait. Wait, tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, I have the turkey hunt. It's this, this thing we do every year. One of the actors who's gone for the weekend hides a turkey, leading clues for the KTs who stuck around to follow. It's kind of a KT Thanksgiving tradition. Turkey hunt? Seriously? Aren't you getting a little tired of doing the same old stuff with those guys all the time? Come on, man. It's my first Thanksgiving away from home. Calvin, most of the Omega Kaisers are gonna be gone. Come on. Come on. All right, fine. They can do it without me this year. When do you get done with work? Um, probably sometime after lunch. I don't know. I'll give you a call when I know for sure. And, um, I'll drive. Get it? Yeah, well, that'd be funny if you still had your car. Yeah, you should drive. Yeah, I will. Rusty and I will handle all the cooking, so if you'd like to contribute, feel free to bring a bottle of something. I think a nice dried ginger ale might go best with a deep fried turkey. It's a kind of well tradition. It sure is. Along with making a wish on the wishbone. Wait, Rusty and I do that every year, too. It's a Cartwright tradition. Yeah, and considering how things have been going in my love life recently, I could really use the help. Why am I telling you guys this? I miss Ashley. All right, you can have the wishbone, but you'll have to fight me for the gizzard. It's all yours. <laughs> Isn't this a little ambitious? Yeah, I didn't stay in town to dilly-dally. I plan on getting some serious work done. Over a holiday weekend? Dale's applying for the Gary White Innovation Engineering Grant. Yeah, which could land me 40 Gs to fund further research and some serious bragging rights. I'm working on a waste-printed circuit board with my advisor, Dr. Larson. 
You might know him from Charlie Rose. <laughs> or from the cover of the latest issue of EW. Huh. Engineering Weekly. Ah. He was number two on their must list. Anyway, our project's one of the top contenders. Oh, I... Are you playing Russ? No, but it's fine. I get to concentrate on more important matters like our first Thanksgiving dinner without mom and dad. Yeah, without them fighting over who gets to carve the turkey or who makes the better gravy. Hey, if you miss it, I can always nag you on your bad table manners. Oh, thanks. Hello? Is anybody home? Reagan? Bad? Freddy Krueger? Don't mind me. You really do think your life is like a romantic comedy, don't you? Rebecca, uh... Why, what are you doing home? My flight was canceled and the thought of flying standby on Thanksgiving depresses me. What's your story? <laughs> my parents ditched me for Maui. Aw, so no booty call for Casey? I told you it wasn't a booty call. All right, my mistake. So, were you texting, emailing each other? How exactly did you make the booty arrangement? Well, I at least hope you have the decency to cancel so he can make other booty plans. Looks like it's just the two of us this weekend. Just my luck. Hey, if you guys are interested, Dale and I are having Thanksgiving dinner at our apartment. Why would we find that interesting? Because I'm inviting you guys to join us. Oh, yeah, sounds awesome. As long as it's after the turkey hunt. I mean, you're coming hunting with us, right, Spitter? Oh, I don't know. I have to cook and probably should be thinking about my pocket science project, but I'm so far away from the solution, that's probably pointless. How about you find the turkey with us, and then we help you with your polygamy science project? Hey, has anyone seen my pitching wedge? I left it here a few years ago. <laughs> Thank you. Spinner, what are you still doing in town? I thought you were going home for the holiday. Our parents ditched us for Maui. So, Casey's still in town. Yeah, she's coming over to my apartment tomorrow for Thanksgiving dinner. Dale and I are cooking. Maybe you should come. Uh, oh, tomorrow? Shoot. No, I wish I could. I got this um, charity golf tournament thing for the poor. But what about the turkey hunt? Thanksgiving dinner. Next year. I promise. Combo shot. Ah, uh, you guys. Interference. Game over. I win. It was tied. Sure, it was. Until Cap knocked in one of my balls. A combo shot. The electrons could pass through a crosslinker. I gotta ask Dr. Hastings if I could try a combo shot. Spitter. Balls. You're right. I'm gonna tell Dr. Hastings I'm gonna try a combo shot, whether he likes it or not. Yes, darling, I agree. Your mother is insane. Certifiable. You know, we could leave her at the nursing home this year. <laughs> of course I'm kidding. I'll pick her up on the way home. Uh, I, I, I have a student here now. I'll talk to you soon. What is it, Cartwright? I think I know how to make a self-healing polymer wire reconduct. That's not knowing. How do you think it could happen? With a combo shot. Are you on drugs? We need to make the cross-linker conductive as well. That way, there will be more pathways for the current to trail. It certainly sounds plausible, but you haven't tested this theory yet. No, sir. Then why are you here? Go try it. If it works, then I'll get excited. And you might have a shot at the Gary Wyatt Grant. Really? You think so? Well, it is you we're talking about here, so I won't hold my breath. But if you do get lucky, even I may have to stop calling you anchor. Oh, but my friend's already going for that grant. Do you think it's OK that I still try for it, too? There are no friends in the lab card, right? Remember that. Rebecca? Is that you? in this empty, huge house without you stalking me. I keep hearing noises. It's an old house. Things creak. I know. And I can sleep through drunk singing in the hallways or late night Beyonce at all the single ladies dance parties, but it's like The Shining in here. Red rum, red rum, red rum. Please, stop. 
Rusty did that once when he was six, and he still swears he's never seen the movie. What are you doing? I thought I could spend the night in here, you know, keep you company while Ash is gone. Uh, no thanks. Hmm. I guess you're not that good of a person after all. Fine. If the psycho axe murderer chops me up into little pieces, it's on your head. Which he'll probably chop off too. Okay, fine, fine, you can stay. But just for tonight. You brought your alarm clock? It's a rain machine. It's proven that white noise helps you sleep more soundly. You can thank me later. You're up early. Wearing jeans? I recommend something a little more elastic today, you know? Head into the lab. I think I know how to get my self healing polymer wired to reconduct. I thought you were working on eco polymers. I was, but this seems just a little more exciting to me. And here's the thing if it works, Hastings thinks I should go for the grant. My grant? It's not yours. Well, I mean, not yet. I just wanted to make sure it's okay with you because I know you're going for it too. We're both honors engineers. You know, there aren't a lot of undergrad grants going around. No, yeah, of course it's okay. You're right. It's, it's not mine. Not yet. I haven't won it yet. I will. But, I mean, it's not like you can call Grant Dibs. But if you can, I totally did. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Go for it. Hey, you know what? I'll go with you. You know, I padded that schedule a little bit. This way we can cook together when we get back and be best friends. Oh, uh, just let me get some clothes on. I think we should go back to separate rooms tonight. You think we should? You're the one with the rain machine and the humidifier. Yeah, and you smell like a beach seal. I'd rather take my chances with an imaginary axe murderer. Yeah, well, maybe I was just snoring because of all the humidity from Tropical Storm Rebecca. So, what are you up to today? Um, well, I'm volunteering with CRU's Movable Feast. They deliver turkey dinners to the elderly. I mean, things haven't exactly been going my way lately. CBZ's fourth-ish. My parents ditched me. I'm still waiting for a decision on that stupid board position from Catherine. Not to mention my dating life is pretty much in the gutter because of the whole Cappy thing. I was talking about Derek. But anyway, I've decided to give back to the community in order to get some good karma and hopefully reverse the trend. How selfless of you. Well, at least I'm doing something. Oh, I'm writing a check. How generous of you. For $10,000. Wow. That is generous. But if you really cared, you'd invest your time and not just your money. I care about old people. I watch Desperate Housewives. And I can totally volunteer with you today. I don't have any plans. I didn't mean today. I meant in general. You're not the only one who needs good karma. I've always wondered, with all those giant balloons, there's not one mischievous guy with a pellet gun? It's almost noon. Let the turkey hunt begin. Here you go, Beef. You get the first clue. Okay. <clears throat> Take my cue. This pool is too shallow for swimming, but it does have deep pockets. We don't have a pool. Oh. Okay. Check your pockets. Wait, we don't have a pool, but we do have a hot tub. Next clue's in the hot tub. No, no, guys, guys, come on. Cue, pockets, pool. Don't you think you should check the pockets of the pool table? <laughs> got it. Cap, you want to read this one? You can't. He's got to go golf with poor people, remember? Yeah, he has better things to do. Oh, come on. Golf is slow. I'll just play fast and catch up. Let me see the clue. All right. Smaller than a lion, bigger than a mouse. I'm hiding under a trash can in the smelliest room of the house. The bathroom. The kitchen. Could be anywhere. What filthy animal am I staring at right now? Really? It's Beaver. The clue's in Beaver's room. Man, you guys are terrible. Whatever, let's find this turkey. Wow, I guess we weren't the only ones with this idea. Excuse me. Hi. We're here to help deliver food to old people. More volunteers. We always get so much help on Thanksgiving. I think we have it covered now, but you're welcome to volunteer any of the other 364 days of the year. You deliver Thanksgiving dinners to the elderly year-round? They don't know what day it is. They just want to eat. We'll totally do that. We are just feeling really charitable today. Join the club. If you'd really like to help, write us a check. Okay. Oh my god. Thank you. That is so generous. Oh my god. Looks like I'm the good one now. And I'm good on karma through Christmas. How about you? Let's count it down. Ten. Nine. 
eight. Yes! It works! What happened? What works? The combo shot, look. Oh, why would you do that? If it turns back on, then it works. A conductive wire containing self-healing microcapsules isn't a breakthrough, but a self-healing reconductive one is grant-worthy. You think so? Because Rusty mentioned earlier that a wire like that was still a ways off, and we only have until Monday, so... <laughs> Who is this nosy ninny, and why does he know about our project? That's just Dale. He's my friend. We were in your physics class together. Listen to me closely, Cartwright. He is the enemy. Do not share any information with other students. Keep your guard up. I told you. There are no friends in the lab. That would have grouch, huh? Don't listen to that bitter old hasman, Russ. I don't want to push you around. You can't expect you to be finished by Monday, right? It's nearly impossible, right? Yeah, that would be pretty amazing. Yeah. But all I can do is try. Exactly. Might as well try. Uh, Dale, your project. It's good. Dale, your project. No, 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 no. Wow, Dale. Looks like you're sinking with the anchor. I was so close. I taste that stupid grant, and now I gotta find a new circuit board and start all over. I can start all over. Really sorry about that. If there's anything you want me to do. Yeah, go for Dale. Hello, Dr. Larson. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, we, yes, sir, we seem to have sailed into some rough waters. Uh, I've, I've lost a couple days' work. I don't know if there's going to be enough time to. Yes, sir, I, I do want the grant. Yes, sir, I am a champion. Yes, sir, of course. I, I would like to be on Charlie Rose someday. I don't. Hello? Oh. Really milks that Charlie Rose for all he's worth, doesn't he? He sure does. <gasps> hey, Todd. <sighs> oh, that's too bad. No, no, it's too good. It reconducted, but it wasn't sustainable. It could be the battery. Or I might have to adjust the cross link monomer ratio. That's great, Russ. So happy for you. Yours didn't even catch on fire, which is awesome. Yeah, it still doesn't work like it should. It's a small game. You know, I really don't appreciate your tone. Huh? I'm just fried. <laughs> I'll start again tomorrow. I'll see you at home. I'm telling you, it has to be in my room. The KT that gets the most bucks. Look around. I think it's meant to be ironical. I don't know. I think the next clue's in Kathy's room. I'm flattered, Wade, but I think Heath may have a point. This is a lot of bucks. What gives? You start a shipping business or something? I'm graduating in a few weeks. Remember, I'm moving out. What? Hold up. Rewind. You're moving out? Graduating? And there's no shipping business? You didn't know, Cap. I thought you knew everything. So disillusioned right now. But you haven't even begun to organize your going away party. Uh, actually we have. It's next Saturday. Oh yeah, and if um, anyone's secretly gay and wants to declare their love for me, that would be the time. Sorry, Cap. You haven't been around much lately, so we took the initiative. Found it. In the chambers of the rich and pompous, where Tom Sawyer sits and taunts us. It's Adam Omega Kai. Chambers, Evan, Chambers, geez, you guys suck at this. Wow, so we have to break into Omega Kai for the next clue. Looks like we do. You coming with us? What about your, uh, your golf tournament? Um... It was just canceled, actually. Something about an unruly gopher and explosives. And Heath, this is your last turkey hunt. I'm, I'm sorry I almost missed it. I'm gonna give a ski mask. Get ready, I'll meet you guys out there. There's a canned food drive at Dobbler's for every five cans donated to get two for one drinks. That was yesterday. Yeah. Looks like you do need good karma. Anything to get me out of this funk. I don't know. I really wanted to see Derek this weekend. So it was an interstate booty call. Fine, yes, it totally was. And I probably still could have gone back home to see him, but when my parents bailed, it suddenly felt super slutty. I was going to say unnecessary, but yeah, a little slutty. <laughs> my flight didn't get canceled. The more I thought about it, the more I dreaded going home, so I didn't. So Derek said that, huh? Uh, I better. <laughs> like who? Kathy or Evan? I'm not going what to about answer it? that. Uh, did you guys say my name? Yeah, I saw you coming. 
I mean, I said, hey, here comes Evan. So what are you up to? And why do you smell like hams? <laughs> I was working. And then I had plans with a friend, but he flaked. So here I am, walking home alone. Well, not alone now. You should come to dinner with me at Rusty's apartment. My daddy wants me there. It's Thanksgiving. I'll just call him and tell him to add another place setting to the table. You invite Evan, but not me? I assumed you wouldn't want to go. Would you? I would. Thank you for the invite. Oh, cool. You're stirring that way too fast. If we wanted a stuffing smoothie, I'd just throw in the blender. You sure about setting up that deep fryer on the porch? That doesn't seem safe. Like, at all. I know what I'm doing. I've never had a turkey go in flames. I don't plan on it happening today. How much celery's in there? Do you even bother to measure it, or? Sort of. It looks fine to me. Sort of. Don't you understand the importance of precision? Because, yeah, it may look fine, but then you realize you've underclocked your CPU so much that your processor is useless spinning at such a low speed. Wait a minute. I thought we were talking about the stuffing, not your project. We are. But the stuffing or my project, you have to be precise. If you want. Maybe tomorrow I can help you get back on track. I can do it on my own. These cranberries? These are cranberries. There's no cranberries in the recipe. That's it, man. Thanksgiving's ruined, and I'm going Wait to the lab. Minute. What about dinner? Dinner's canceled. Dinner's canceled. I guess dinner's canceled. What are we supposed to do for Thanksgiving dinner now? I've got an idea. We pretend like we're delivering them, and then we just keep a few meals for ourselves. That's serious bad karma. Yeah, that won't be happening. Hey, I have an idea. Look at all of these people with nowhere to go. Let's have Thanksgiving at the ZBZ house. And and everyone's excited. It's going to be so great. OK, guys, so we're going to have Thanksgiving at the ZBZ house. You guys can come out. Uh, Microwave pizza? It's turkey sausage. Happy Thanksgiving. Next. So, uh, um, what's in this stuff anyway? Um, this is cranberry juice and an assortment of half-empty bottles I got from my catering gigs. I mm -hmm. call it cranberry sauce. <laughs> I love that. Uh, hey, is Kathy in town? We should ask him to come over. There you go. Um, he's the flake I had plans with. Oh, is he with Lana or something? No, they broke up. They did? You know, Cappy. He's probably getting drunk with KTs and skeet shooting dinner plates, skateboarding off the roof. <laughs> something stupid like that. <laughs> It's a good one. Guys, I found him. Let's get out of here. We, we can't leave without playing some kind of prank, right? Yeah, let's run around the toilet. No, 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 no. Let's steal all their underwear. We should do something to Chambers' room. Do you guys have any eggs on you? A rancid trout? Anyone need to pee? Room, okay, let's just get out of here. What's up with you lately? You don't want to break the Omega Kai's. It's like Bizarro Cappy. There's no pranking today. It's not me, it's, it's in the KT bylaws. On Thanksgiving Day, all the KTs must adhere to a brief suspension of hostility in the spirit of the holiday. It even suggests that we invite our enemies over to watch football or, or skateboard off the roof. KTs and Omega Kai's will never get along. We're too different. You, you don't want to screw with Evan Chambers. The guy who hit Spitter with his own pledge paddle. The guy who stole your girlfriend. It was a long time ago, all right? I had the opportunity to be with her, and I, I didn't want to risk it. You didn't want to risk it? Seriously, what's going on with you, Cap? You used to live for risk. And shoots and ladders. All I'm saying is, why would I want to go through all that again? To be with the love of your life? to be a Thanksgiving dinner? I left for more brown sugar, and unfortunately, I had car trouble. Really? Yes. I'm changing my tire as we speak. What happened to dinner with your friend? Canceled it to keep working. You know, I had a friend like yours once. 
We pioneered the work that led to the miniaturized hard disk. However, without my knowledge, my friend published a book about our research and forgot to credit me. He went on to make millions, win the Pulitzer, and marry a Victoria's Secret model. No friends in the lab, huh? You're going for the same result. You can't both win. You know, I have been getting along with her for two solid hours now. <laughs> Must be the spirit of the holiday. Uh, you know, it could be the cranberry sauce. That helps, too. <laughs> you sure you don't want to call Cap? I mean, I just, I love that the three of us are friends again. It's like old times. Shh, 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 shh. People don't know yet, so. Well, maybe the Omega Kai's and KT's should embrace the spirit of the holiday a little, too. Ooh, I need a refill. You good? Mm. <laughs> Were you just talking about me? Um, paranoid much? What did he say? Did he see me talking to that cute guy? You think it made him jealous? What is going on with you? Nothing. Hey, check it out. <laughs> Hey, you're not allowed up there. That's my roommate's shirt. I'm on it. I think it's time that we close the kitchen. Right. All right, everybody, listen up. Thank you for coming, but we are now closed. So be careful out there. Happy Thanksgiving. Dale, what are you doing? I was just curious. Want through my notes? Spying on me? That's cheating. And unethical, at the very least. Our projects are nothing alike. I, I just wanted to see how close you were. You know, I mean, you should take this as a compliment. Because I saw you making all this progress and realized that you're real competition. What does that mean? I wasn't competition before? <laughs> you know, you're the anchor. <laughs> you actually think that little of me? You think I'm that bad? No, no, I don't think you're, you're bad. I mean, I thought, I thought your project might have been a little ambitious. I've looked at you like a friend this whole time, and you look down at me like the anchor. Russ. Russ, come back, man. It's uh, it's just a nickname. It's just a nickname. Well, it looks like all I took was that one shirt. What an odd choice. Yeah. yeah it's funny. I thought I'd be spending tonight alone. Yeah, I thought you'd be spending with an old boyfriend. Sorry. Cranberry sauce. Yeah. Old boyfriend, huh? I thought all I wanted was a booty call. But I realize now I want more. I know exactly what you're saying. No, I no, I didn't mean us. Oh. I meant in, in general. No offense. What? No, no. I'm not taken. Um Yeah, I know what you meant in general, so. <sighs> I chased him for three blocks before I realized we're doing Ash a favor by letting him keep that shirt. Is anyone else hungry? So busy being charitable, I forgot to eat. <clears throat> yeah. I just got a text from Rusty inviting us to Thanksgiving at the KT house. Great, let's go. What? Well, uh, the KT house? Don't worry, I'll protect you. Spooner, what are you doing on the roof? How much is thinking? It's definitely the spot for that. I do my best thinking up here. Just gotta watch out for the bird poo. I heard you guys found the turkey. It's being prepared for the big feast as we speak. Hey, sorry we had to cancel dinner in our apartment. Well, don't worry about it. I know you and Dale are busy. Hey, so what's going on with you? Well, it kind of involves your sister, so... I don't know if you... That's fine. Just pretend like she's not my sister. Just pretend like she's some other girl. See, that's the thing. She's not just some other girl. At least not to me. I had the opportunity to be with her, and my friend talked me out of it. Maybe this friend doesn't have your best interest in mind. You know, maybe he's just looking out for himself. Um, you know, I'm working on this project. I've been making progress. I mean, bubble it up briefly. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> It involves this wire that heals itself. This wire can get cut, but it just keeps growing back. It can get cut over and over again and just keeps growing right back. And it does not give up. Neither will I. No matter how many times they call me the anchor. It's 
So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna have Thanksgiving dinner with my brothers. He's not coming inside. We don't care if it's Thanksgiving. It's not a big deal. I can just go. Cap, can you help uh, us out here? What, what seems to be the issue? They won't let our guest in. Good. No Omega Kai is stepping foot in this house without getting pounded. By my fist. In the face, I don't know. Look, guys, if the pilgrims and the Indians can set aside their differences for one meal, can't we? And he brought a peace offering that's much better than corn. You know what? If, uh... The cowboys and Indians can do it, you know, so can we. Yeah, come on in. I'm sorry I bailed. All right, turkey better be good. So which one of these looks more like an anchor? <laughs> As we near the end of our meal, I'd like to propose a toast. And no toast would be complete without the turkey. Finally, some real food. It's not that kind of turkey. <laughs> to the success of yet another turkey hunt. KT's for life. KT. You know, some people can't pull it off. But I bet you'd look really good with the shaved head. You know, maybe I should go. You shave him, I shave you. Beaver. Come on, Russ. It's a Cartwright tradition. Make a wish. Shoot. I was hoping for some good luck with my project so I could destroy my competition. I should probably go work on it. Yeah, I, I think I should get going too, actually. I'll walk you home. Okay. Thanks. Do that was. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. This is really fun. Yeah. Thanks for the walk home. I think I can take it from here. <laughs> um, how about a nightcap? Right. Sorry. A nightcap. No, no. No, I meant, I mean, um, wow, it must really be scary being the only one here. <laughs> no voice allowed upstairs. Wait, wait. There's something I need to say. I've been thinking about stuff. Really? Me too. Like, like, should I get my hair colored? Would I look good as a brunette? I well, think you look gorgeous with any color. Good to know. Thanks. So, anyway. Y you've been thinking? Yeah. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I, I was thinking, um, I was, I was just, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm nervous. I really wish things worked out with us. That was my wish, too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Dale. Hey, I got it. I got it to work. So your wish. Is that what you wish for on your wish? That's all. No, I'm sorry. I've been drinking. Um, let's just talk tomorrow. Okay? No, no. Let's talk now. Cap, I poured my heart out to you at the end of the world party, and you didn't come after me. You should have come after me. 
I know. And I have no excuse. But I'm here now, and I'm telling you that. Telling me what? Previously on Greek. We're leaving now anyway. But it's 10.30. We said we'd come. Not that we'd stay. But thanks for paying our electric bill. Oops. That was loud. <laughs> I offered to pay the Gamma Size electric bill. Ashley didn't even know about it. That's not true. Dr. Larson, I was hoping that you might be interested in sponsoring a project of mine. But I've already committed myself to sponsoring Dale Cattlewell. I understand you turned down an opportunity to work with Dr. Larson. I'd rather take a chance working on my own project, even if they call me anchor until I graduate. They'll sponsor you. Is this being worth Is this about Cappy? Because it's pretty clear there are still feelings there. How I feel about Cappy is kind of irrelevant since he's off with that bike club girl. I guess I should explain why I've been blowing you off. Are we still or not? I want someone different. Laura, your cab is here. You better hurry before somebody steals it. Of my way, bitches. <laughs> Rebecca, it's a four-day weekend. You're not moving home. Unless, are you? Sorry to disappoint, Case, but I'll be back on Sunday. You could pay me to stay longer, but... I don't have an electric bill. <laughs> Are you going home or back in time to return that suitcase to its rightful owner? I actually prefer the vintage look to the whole walking advertisement label whore, whore thing. But that's just me, obviously. And yeah, I'm going home. He's giving it the cart rights. I'll bet it looks just like a Norman Rockwell painting. Hardly. I'll probably end up spending most of the weekend with my old boyfriend, Derek. Old boyfriend? Sounds like a home for the holidays. Hook up to me. It's not like that. I just want to see how he's doing and catch up. Please. The only reason to catch up with an old flame when there is no flame is for sex. Just because you would doesn't mean I will. Oh, right. Because you're the good one and I'm the bad one. Right. Ah, uh, well, at least we agree on one thing. Happy Thanksgiving. You too. All right, I typed up the cookie schedule for tomorrow, breaking it into two shifts, which should give us equal time to hit the lab work on our projects. I'm not going to the lab. Well, what about your special project and the grant? I mean, the proposal to do on Monday, every minute counts. I hit a wall, and Hastings is not the best person to show me how to get old. That's true, he's no Larson. Hey, Case, what's up? I'm double parked. Are you ready to go? Go where? Our flight home. It leaves in two hours. Please tell me you packed. We're not going anymore. Mom and Dad canceled our tickets. They're off to Maui for the weekend. How do I not know this? She left you, like, five messages. She didn't leave me any messages. Or wait, did she? Hey, Dale. Hey, Casey. I started skipping over Mom's long voicemails after she left me when reenacting an entire healthcare debate on C-SPAN. So now when I hear, hey, Case, it's Mom, I skip it. What a fun story. Well, what about my message? I left you one, too. Uh-huh. You know, just my luck. I can't believe this. I was really looking forward to seeing Beric and, and Mom and Dad. So does that mean you'll be spending Thanksgiving dinner with us tomorrow? First one on our own, another big milestone. <laughs> Might as well. You know, I'm, I'm not going home now. So what else have I got to do? OK, OK, not the most enthusiastic response, but I'll take it. And I promise, anything you could have got at home, you'll get right here. I doubt that. Hey, so you're going on this weekend? No, my parents don't believe in celebrating Thanksgiving. They side with the Native Americans and the turkey as vegetarians. How about you? You go to the Chambers of State to discuss extramarital affairs, feuding families, oil, and murder? You've been watching Dynasty on DVD? Dynasty? Never heard of it. Never mind. Uh, no, actually. I will not be going to the annual Chambers turkey extravaganza. I politely declined the email invite for my dad's secretary. Well, if we're both here, we should do something. Maybe a road trip to play some golf? Yeah, man, sounds good to me. Oh, you know what? We should go tomorrow. It's Thanksgiving, so the course will be pretty open. We're closed, which means we play for free. Free. I can afford that. Oh, wait. Wait, tomorrow? Yeah. 
Oh, I have the turkey hunt. It's this, this thing we do every year. One of the actors who's gone for the weekend hides a turkey, leaving clues for the KTs who stuck around to follow. It's kind of a KT Thanksgiving tradition. Turkey hunt? Seriously? Aren't you getting a little tired of doing the same old stuff with those guys all the time? Come on, man. It's my first Thanksgiving away from home. Calvin, most of the Omega Kai's are gonna be gone. Come on. Come on. All right, fine. They can do it without me this year. When do you get done with work? Um, probably sometime after lunch. I don't know. I'll give you a call when I know for sure. And, um, I'll drive. Get it? Yeah, well, that'd be fun if you still had your car. Yeah, you should drive. Yeah, I will. Rusty and I will handle all the cooking, so if you'd like to contribute, feel free to bring a bottle of something. I think a nice dried ginger ale might go best with a deep-fried turkey. It's a kind of well tradition. It sure is, along with making a wish on the wishbone. Wait, Rusty and I do that every year, too. It's a car rate tradition. Yeah, and considering how things have been going in my love life recently, I could really use the help. Why am I telling you guys this? I'm Miss Ashley. All right, you can have the wishbone, but you'll have to fight me for the gizzard. It's all yours. <laughs> Isn't this a little ambitious? Yeah, I didn't stay in town to Dilly Gally. I plan on getting some serious work done. Over a holiday weekend? Dale's applying for the Gary White Innovation Engineering Grant. Yeah, which could land me 40 Gs to fund further research and some serious bragging rights. I'm working on a waste-printed circuit board of my advisor, Dr. Larson. You might know him from Charlie Rose. <laughs> or from the cover of the latest issue of EW. Huh. Engineering Weekly. Ah. He was number two on the must list. Anyway, our project's one of the top contenders. Oh, I... Are you playing Russ? No, but it's fine. I get to concentrate on more important matters like our first Thanksgiving dinner without mom and dad. Yeah, without them fighting over who gets to carve the turkey or who makes better gravy. Hey, if you miss it, I can always nag you on your bad table manners. Oh, thanks. Hello? Is anybody home? Reagan? Bad? Freddy Krueger? Don't find me. me. You really do think your life is like a romantic comedy, don't you? Rebecca, uh... I, where, where are you doing home? My flight was canceled and the thought of flying standby on Thanksgiving depresses me. What's your story? <laughs> my parents ditched me for Maui. Aw, so no booty call for Casey? I told you it wasn't a booty call. All right, my mistake. So, were you texting, emailing each other? How exactly did you make a booty arrangement? Well, I at least hope you have the decency to cancel so you can make other booty plans. Looks like it's just the two of us this weekend. Just my luck. Hey, if you guys are interested, Dale and I are having Thanksgiving dinner at our apartment. Why would we find that interesting? Because I'm inviting you guys to join us. Oh, that yeah, sounds awesome. As long as it's after the turkey hunt. I mean, you're coming hunting with us, right, Spitter? Oh, I don't know. I have to cook and probably should be thinking.